Hello. Wire circuitry. Okay. Got some good stuff in here. I think there's a uh an anchor if we follow these train tracks down. If the next uh, next zone we head into is has a lot of loot, I might split this uh, this expedition into two videos. Already at the uh, at the forty three minute mark. See, I see. I, I've seen a lot of a lot of YouTubers who are playing this. You know, like their LPs go like 11, 12 videos. But I don't know. I if I can keep this going, I'm perfectly fine just exploring and crafting and just really kind of relaxing with this game. You know, kind of going back to what I was saying earlier about, like, the hunger and thirst not really kind of fitting in with the kind of... what I think the devs were trying to do with this game. I think when I really kind of think about it, I can say the same thing about why there's no enemies that you have to fight in this game. All the, you know, uh, all the anomalies or whatever that you have to deal with are going to damage the car. Like, that, that's what you have to worry about. You don't have to worry about somebody attacking you. You know, you don't have to worry about there being raiders or there have to be something out in the world that you have to fight or whatever. No, it's just simply protect the car. Which, I, which again, I, I think really works for this game. So, they, and they find a way to make this game, like creepy enough without there being danger at every corner, you know, for the for the player character. And it's not saying that there's not danger, but it's not like your typical, oh, hey, there's also zombies. Oh, there's also just raiders running around. That, you know, we don't see people in this game. We hear them over the radio, but other than the player, there aren't any human people in this game, which, I, like I said, I, I, I think really works for what it is and kind of explains why there is no hunger uh, or, you know, those more, like, traditional survival mechanics. You know, if you... Let me pontificate. I know, like, you could stop me. lost my scrapper. What's our backpack look like? Okay, we got plenty to... We got plenty to search. 
Holy shit, that's a lot of flares. Kinda. I'm just kind of looting whatever. Blue paint. I think that's what we're, uh, what we currently have on the, have on the car. And then I think we're gonna need to touch up the paints, but. Always oh, nice to find more. See, yeah, and I kinda like how paint is a. is a limited resource. You know, you. You'd think, oh, but I find it and I get this really cool paint job for the car. Yeah. But the fact that you have... I don't know, it kind of, in a weird way, pushes you to put new stickers and new paint jobs and everything on the car as you play. Oh, he's having the time of his life. Oh, shit. You know, it doesn't just... Um, you know, as parts get destroyed or ripped off or you gotta get new parts or whatever for the car. It means you, okay, well maybe I need to mix and match my paints or maybe I want to give it a whole new paint job or I want to put new stickers if you care about that kind of shit, but, which I kind of do. You know, it, it it finds a an interesting way to kind of make it make having to put new paint jobs on your car a part of the gameplay. You know, I feel like a lot of games would find it, you know, oh, okay, you find this paint and you just always have access to this paint. But in a weird way, this game kind of pushes you to explore and do different things. I, I kind of like that. And again, it gives that, that feeling of your building and customizing this just random car. What was that game? Was it was it My Summer Ride or something like that? Or no, or was it called Jalopy? There's been a few different games with similar concepts to this. That I've seen. I, I think this maybe reminds me a little bit more of Jalopy. I think that's the game I'm thinking of. Where it's like you're driving a... You and your... I want to say uncle. Like across what seems to be some like Eastern European country that's kind of locking down because it's going through a civil war, so... Can't remember when that game came out. It, was, it wasn't that long ago. But it also wasn't like a big project. It was a little indie title if anybody remembers it. crap load of canned food. I went out of the fence. I cannot be contained. Yeah, 
I got plenty of canned food. Eh, one more. Get us over the 50% mark. Oh, wow, we are full. Okay. My back right tire has got something going on. Did I say back right and back left? Nope. Note to self put the parking brake on when you are going downhill or when you're parked. Down on a slope. There we go. Words. Oh boy, we are really gonna have to fix up the car when we get back to the shop. Oh, cool, you can turn off the interior light. Okay, well, she wants us to go to the blistering woods. Which I think we will. I think we'll just do that instead of what we were going to do. It just looks like a better zone. Sorry, stretching. The woods there can be a bit of a maze. If you get lost, follow the pipes. The Limtech and those stabilizers ran so damn hot, only more Limtech could contain it from complete meltdown. So the first one is just down the road. Oh, shit, shit. 
It's my turn to give you an explanation about the mass hallucination event that Tobias and Francis were going on about. But don't worry, I won't be nearly as long-winded. Because there are honestly <laughs> as much that we know about it. It happened on the morning of September 14th, 1961. My colleague, Dr. James Kay, was conducting experiments at a highly classified site in the deep zone. He was assisted by my husband, Dr. Alan Turner. At 0400, their experiment unleashed a gamma ray surge that instantly killed both of them. The surge was an impossible amount of energy, orders of magnitude greater than any man-made source. It also triggered hallucinations in anyone awake within a 10-mile radius. It was a burst of widespread insanity, but only for a short moment. Insert some sort of joke about the Incredible Hulk. Oh, cool, so I can get fuel out of that truck. But I got plenty in my uh, my spare gas can. Spike puddle. I have a feeling that means they're going to destroy my tires. by bald huh well I'm one to replace my tires with off-road tires anyways So I guess end of the day it doesn't really matter. You can do it, little buddy. Maybe he can't. All right, fine, we'll... Ooh, did not notice that Arta thing there.
Ah, now I get what she meant by follow the pipes. Okay. There's not a road up here. There's a... Grab what's in this pneumatic tube. Ooh, more paint. Oh, paint stripper. Cool. No, that is not some sort of erotic color, if anybody was curious. And to anybody who thought, huh, okay, we're, we're playing a game about this weird sentient car. I wonder if I'm going to hear AJ say the word erotic. <laughs> I know you didn't think you would, but you, you know, you get the pleasure all the same. Alright, I'm making myself uncomfortable now. Get up the hill, car. whole bunch of shit around here I want to check. Okay, vapor lights. And just lab computers. Nothing super interesting. Lights, but I did see a house. Well, shack. Whatever the heck you want to call this. That really didn't have anything in it. Well, that was a waste of time. Fantastic. I was hoping this place would have some really cool shit and you'd have... Not really anything. A little disappointed. Ooh, stuff inside that storage container. sucks. Every time it's like, oh, I see something that could be cool. I see something that could be cool. Something could be cool. And crap. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Oh, that hurt. Sure didn't feel short when I was free falling through outer space. Heck of a ride, though. Did you know the rings of Saturn sing? I saw disembodied arms. Tons of them. They were grasping and crawling. And, uh, what about you, Oppy? What did you see? I saw nothing. How is that possible? Everybody else saw something. Must have passed me by. I don't know what to tell you. But weren't you working in your lab that night? And weren't you supposed to be doing your research rather than keeping track of my whereabouts? Okay. Wow. Touchy. 
Who wants to guess that she saw something really terrifying for her? And she doesn't seem like the, uh, she doesn't seem like a sharer. Oh, please don't be a sheer drop. Please don't be a sheer drop. Oh, thank God. Oh, that could have been far worse. Now that we know the remnants were connected to the mass hallucination, maybe we can figure out what caused it. Oh boy, oh boy, do I have theories. Don't start. Dr. K and Alan clearly uncovered some new way of using Lim to motivate that gamma ray burst. Oh, yes, precisely. And where do gamma rays come from but outer space? Feedback on planet Earth, kid. There are plenty of terrestrial sources of gamma rays. Thunderstorms, for example. No, 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 no. You said it yourself. The energy levels from that night are much greater than anything we've seen on Earth. Sure, but going straight to aliens for there's countless perfectly scientific possibilities. Perhaps Dr. K and Alan developed a limb-assisted mass particle collision. Oh, heck. Tapped into some sort of gamma ray reservoir. A reservoir? Or a portal? A portal? <laughs> to where exactly? To Atlantis! Of course! Now why didn't I think of that? That's absolutely it! Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't think she thinks that. What do you, what do you guys think? You know, I just realized maybe it's best not to have lit flares out while I'm pumping gas. That doesn't scream, um good plan to me. weird thing with me turning my uh turning my wheel too hard and that's what's screwing with my uh can't think of what to call it I really hope that's what's screwing with my headlights I mean that's the only thing that I could think of You know, I've I've turned my head my uh, my wheel pretty hard, you know, before. I've never really had an experience where my headlights started to dim because of it. stuff. I think the game's glitch when I'm like, I'm pressing R2, I'm like, come on, light the flare. Light the flare. I can't see him. You, know, you, you gotta hold it just long enough. And I keep, like, it, it's always longer than I think it is. Yeah, 
I know I probably should have just taken the car up here, but I couldn't get a I couldn't see like a clean way to drive up here without having to really drive uphill pretty hard. Munch, 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 munch. Uh, hey, Oppie. You've never cared about any of the zone's stories and superstitions. So, why now? What's in this for you? What I do is not and has never been any of your business. You're asking us to trust you, so yes. It's our business now. How about this? You two sign off, count orbs, or whatever it is you like to do, and I'll get the driver to the mass hallucination source myself. Excuse me? No, 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 no. Tobias found this remnant. This is his discovery. Sure. And I'll send you a nice gift basket to mark the occasion. But I won't let anyone interfere with this. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm guessing the it's... We oh. either throw everything we can at this thing, or we lose this chance, and the answers to the mass hallucination are gone forever. This isn't like one of your little Sasquatch hunts. I'm not letting you get your tinfoil pseudoscience anywhere near this. This is too damn important to me. It sure didn't seem too important earlier, when you messed up and nearly killed the driver. You want to play that game? You really want to talk about our track records? Screw you, Oppie. I'd rather run this remnant into the ground than work with either of you. Oh, forget it. We're wasting our breath with this old man. There's got to be another way. She's out of her mind. I can't do this. I... Look, if you want to waste your precious time picking apart bird droppings and squinting at constellations, by all means, follow their lead. Sorry if there was a really abrupt cut, but the uh, my computer kind of froze up there for a second it looks like the recordings continued uh let's see here we're going here because it looks like that's about the only safe run that we can really do for the next uh you know because all the other areas are really messed up i'm gonna fix up the car we uh fixed up some quirks uh, that was fun watch me stumble through that again i'm not sure where the video cut off uh, we have the matter regenerator, so essentially we uh, yank a part of the car off. I can put it in there, and it will repair for the next time that we come back to the shop. And I put up a little basketball hoop that we can play on. So that is what happened. Yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, that was all the interesting stuff, but uh, I'm going to fix up the car move shit around and all of that for the next video guys thanks so much for watching social media in the description like comment subscribe all that good stuff i will see you all in the next one but until then i'm out hey guys uh i know i just did my outro but i just uh in in editing i was sitting here and realized holy shit how much got cut out when my computer froze i am so sorry uh, I really need to clean the thing out. It's probably just overheating and dusty and shit. And that's uh, just poor computer maintenance on my part. Um, but it, it froze after that, um, during the dialogue, after that second tower that we uh, unlocked. Really, all you missed was we unlocked the third one. There was more fallout between Opie and the other two. Um, I'm guessing that Opie, there's, some, uh, there's a connection to, I think, her husband's who is a researcher with Arda that went missing with all this. And I think that's what she's looking into in the whole mass hyster mass hallucination thing. Um, I'm, I'm guessing that's the, that's the whole situation that's going on with that. Um, again, I am so sorry that so much got cut out. Like I said, you didn't miss a whole heck of a lot, but you did miss a little bit of story. Uh, there and again, like I said, I think that that's the whole implication that uh, Opie is trying to figure out what happened or what's going on with her husband. Um, yeah, so I apologize for the freeze, the cut, and everything, losing that much content. Um, and uh, yeah, I need I need to make a habit of 
uh, checking my monitors and everything a lot a little a little more often to make sure that shit is not happening and I can fix that sooner. So, uh, thank you guys. One more time, social media in the description, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. I'll see y'all in the next one. But uh, for real this time, guys, I'm out.